You wonder what case might be best for your iPhone 7 or 8? Well, I read a bunch of online reviews and picked three of them to try out that I thought would work best for me. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY, everyone. I'm Mike. Let's take a look at the reviews. Before we do that, I want to point you towards the end of the video. I'm wearing a different shirt than I usually do, and it's for a, a little surprise. Stick around to the end to see what it's all about. So, I reviewed three different cases. Two of my favorites are here. Let's check them out. The phone case I want to take a look at for the iPhone 7 and 8. Thule, or Thule, I'm not sure how you, people say it both ways. Leave a comment if you know the right way to say it. The Atmos X4. I'm not crazy about the color. This is a, a red one. It's more like a salmon color. Um, but it does come in a black and a white as well. I like these rubber grips uh, that kind of wrap around the side there. That really helps keep it put. It, it takes more force to move around than uh, the other cases that I tested. I like the way these buttons work out here on the side. I can feel them. And so when I'm not looking at my phone, it's easy to know which button I'm pushing. I also like that this has a built-in screen protector. You know, the case is drop proof. Now I haven't tried dropping a great big ball on it. That could be an interesting test to see what that looks like. Leave a comment if you know another video that does that or maybe uh, if you think I should do it. All right, a few things to note here. You know, it works with the thumbprint ID that is on iPhone 7 and 8. That shield protection, the whole drop corners, it's kind of a multi-layer case that's all uh, combined together. It says it'll stop uh, damage from up to two meters on the drop. So this uh, Atmos X4 case is the one that I'm gonna be keeping on my phone. For heavy duty, high drop, resistant, protecting your phone, this case is pretty thin. I think part of that comes with a slight bevel on the rounding. That makes it feel a little thinner in your hand. And it's definitely not as thick as like the OtterBox Defender, for example. But that has some different capabilities as well. All right, so here's the in Incipio case. It's got dual layer protection. It's been a fine case as I've used it. Uh, it is a little slipperier than I like, uh, the surface and the material. And so that's kind of frustrating. It kind of slides around a little bit too easily. It's definitely not going to stay put if you set it on your dashboard or something. One nice thing about this, it is drop rated uh, to 12 feet, uh, so that's a nice thing. And this dual layer protection, you can see there's a, a rigid outer shell and then the soft, more flexible inner shell that kind of clip together. That's the Incipio case. Comes in a variety of colors. So let's take a look at this Spigen, I guess you pronounce it. The Spigen phone. And this one's got some great features. Military grade drop tested. So that's good. Part of that kind of comes with how they deal with their corners here. Some air cushion technology. It's a nice two-part case. It has a rubbery edge here. It's not uh, super rubbery, like it still, still slides around. But it slides a lot less than that Incipio phone does. And then on the back here, you can kind of tell that there's only rubber down low and up at the top. You can buy screen protectors uh, from the same company, from from Spigen. This case for the iPhone 7 and 8 is has been a good case. I quite like it. I like the way the buttons on the side line up. They're just nice and smooth here. There's no bump sticking out. You have access for the toggle switch, the ringer toggle switch. The bottom, you have access for all of your ports. They feel a little less uh, rigidy and, and open compared to the last case that we looked at and uh, the power button over on this side is the same call this thing tough armor I don't know if you can see that okay tough armor right there and this one has an interesting feature with a little kickstand that flips out uh, well, I've never had this thing pop out accidentally so that's nice kickstand allows you to set the phone up like that or if you turn it the other way it leans it more at this angle, so that's kind of nice. Two different, uh, two different angles for viewing if you're trying to watch videos or sitting in a meeting or at a desk or something. Uh, one downside with the kickstand, it does not work if you want to set your phone that way. Um, turn it over the other way. And again, it, it just doesn't work that direction. So. 
that's a little bit funny and surprising that the kickstand only works. Yeah, I like the general slimness of it, uh, not too fat, but still feels like it provides some protection. The edge around the front gives my screen protection even without a screen protector. Um, although the optional screen protector is something I think I'll end up getting for this. That's the Spigen Tough Armor case. Uh, actually, this is the Tough Armor 2 case, just to be clear. Tough Armor 2 for your iPhone 7 and 8. Um, great little case. Okay, so the verdict is in. My favorite case is this Thule. Not sure if it said Thule or Thule. If you know, maybe leave a note in the comments. Anyway. This Atmos X4 was my favorite. Seems to work really well. Love the grip on it. And it's fairly thin for something that's got a case on, a cover on top, as well as pretty good uh, protection on the back. So it works great for me who, you know, I tend to drop the case. And my kids get a hold of my phone sometimes, and who knows what they'll do with it. A little one likes to step on it. Just asking for trouble without a case. All right, so back to the shirt. This came from the YouTube channel Pleasant Green. Check them out. They have a phenomenal story that uh, starts out with uh, with a spammer uh, from Liberia that seems to just be asking for money. And it has a whole interesting twist. I just returned from the most amazing, eye-opening, terrifying, and inspiring trip ever. It ends up being about helping people in some of Earth's most dire circumstances. Check it out. It's a great story. Be sure to subscribe put a link uh, to subscribe to his channel. Appreciate it if you subscribe to mine. Also, looking ahead, um, I'm going to do a review of my favorite uh, addition to the back of the case. Uh, so be sure to watch for that video. Also, don't forget to check out the Pleasant Green YouTube channel where I got this shirt. Learn about their story. It's just a, a great watch. Very interesting, captivating story. Have a great day.